Hey, I'm Vlad with Glow Marble, and I'm going to show you some concrete coloring tips that I haven't seen anybody on YouTube doing before. I'm going to show you three variations, and for the first, two molds, MS863 and MS871, I'm going to cast some black pigmented concrete. In the description of every mold on our website, we have a detailed list of materials, how much they weigh, um, how much of sand, how much of cement to add. So for every mold, it's going to be a different amount. I'm mixing up for two batches since I'm filling up two molds. And I always like to put the sand on the bottom. It just makes it uh, a lot easier to mix because that cement doesn't get stuck to the bottom. Instead, you have the sand down there. I'm using our Supra Black pigment. We have a lot of different pigments. And um, you could get a lighter color by adding less of it. You can get a darker color by adding more of it. It's all a preference. You can check out the color chart on the website. I'm just gonna go ahead and pre-mix this. And now I'm gonna add way less water than I should, just to show you a little trick. You take a look at this mix, it's almost entirely unworkable. Not even a vibration table is gonna fix that. It's way too sandy, way too dry. Instead of adding more water, I'm gonna add something called a super plasticizer, which we saw on our website, which means you don't have to use as much water um, which increases the strength of your concrete. Now look at the workability of that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and scrape the sides of the bucket. See all that unmixed material on the sides? That has to be scraped and then mix one more time. Next step, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my release agent. I'm using a non-aerosol sprayer. I don't know if you can see, but the mist is way finer than anything you get on a regular like pump sprayer. Now we go ahead and turn on our vibration motor. Now for mold LS1301, I'm doing a white mix. So I'm putting in white sand with white cement. Let's add the super plasticizer in, but no pigment. So concrete stains are not an uncommon thing, you see them all the time, but I decided to do a little bit of experimenting with metallic pigments, which aren't used for concrete at all, they're used for epoxy. You mix them into the epoxy, swirl the epoxy around, and you'd have a nice looking table. It's basically a very fine powder, and it's not that much different than the pigment that you put inside of water-based stains, mix it up, and then spray onto your concrete. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up a water bottle, a spray bottle with some water, take a little bit of the pigment, and add it in there, screw the load on, shake it up, then we can go ahead and start spraying it. And then if you notice in a few locations it might be a little bit too saturated, you could always go ahead and remove some of that um, pigment off of those deep points. And you notice how just like with the stain, this only goes onto the deep points while the peaks stay black. 
This pigment color is called Toffee. Let's go right onto the next pigment with the next mold. The next color we're gonna be using is Slate. And now for the white concrete, we're gonna go with something a little bit lighter. I'm going with the color Rose Gold. So here's the thing, if you're not familiar with water-based stains, um, you have to wait for them to one, dry out, of course, this is still wet, and you also have to seal them. Once this dries, it's gonna look really nice, but if uh, somebody brushes up against it or it rains, this is all gonna get washed off, this is all gonna be for nothing, so we're gonna have to put a sealer on this as soon as the concrete dries. Not just the stain, but the concrete itself. We casted this yesterday, we demolded today, there's still a lot of moisture inside of that concrete from the water we added uh, to it to mix it. For something this size, you'd have to wait about seven days before sealing it. And if you're interested to know what happens if you seal too early, I do have a video about that. It's gonna be in one of the corners of your screen. It's gonna show up as a little eye. Okay, so it's been a week. Now it's time to seal this to make sure that it doesn't get washed off by anything. You can't rub it off like I just did with my finger here. There's many different methods of sealing it, like with a roller, but today I'm gonna to be using a spray bottle. This isn't a sealer sprayer, so um, this is basically a one-time use. I'm gonna throw this out after I'm done with it. And the sealer I'm using is HS200. It's an acrylic sealer which has UV protection, so it's not gonna yellow um, when you have these stones outside. The sealer is a gloss, uh, finish sealer but if you want it to be a little bit less glossy we do have something called a matting agent and you can see how with the sealer those colors are just getting a lot more vivid than they were before what sucks about using these is that um, when you keep spraying downwards they stop working literally nothing's coming out so what I end up doing is putting it upright getting it to spray again by uh, spraying it horizontally into a cup and then spraying back down vertically. Now I'm just gonna continue with all the rest of these and put you guys on fast forward. So you've made it to the end of my video, but now I wanna ask you for a quick favor. See, the YouTube algorithm gets tricked into showing my video to a lot more people if a lot of people comment on it. So criticize me, praise me, or just ask a question. As long as you leave a comment, I'm gonna appreciate it a lot. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video.